हेलो नासिद सो वी हैव बीन स्टडिंग चैप्टर नंबर इलेवन फोर्स यस सो किड्स लास्ट टाइम वी स्टडीड द इफेक्ट ऑफ फोर्स यस वी स्टडीड द इफेक्ट ऑफ फोर्स एज यू कैन सी ऑन द स्क्रीन ओके सो कैन यू टेल मी किड्स कैन यू टेल मी what is force yes can you tell me what is force a force is a push or pull or both yes force is a push or pull or both yes a force cannot be seen a force cannot be seen but we can feel a force cannot be seen but we can feel and observe the effect of force and observe the effect of force yes because force is the uh, force is a push or pull yes to push or pull an object the push or pull up applied on an object is called force yes so push means what push is that force actually due to which due to which an object move away and pull is means uh, that uh, a pull is when we apply a force and the object will move towards us yes <coughs> uh, we know may, many example like kicking a ball moving a chair moving a bench pulling a pushing a trolley knocking a nail yes and drawing back a bow 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 b o w bow means tear okay uh, opening the door to a wall and uh, so what are the effect of force as you can see on the screen uh, because of force uh, shape can change temporarily or permanently yes because of force shape can change temporarily or permanently and uh, it can change the direction of a moving object it can change the direction of moving object it can change the speed of a moving object yes it can change the speed of moving object yes it can make this it can increase the speed okay it can stop a moving object yes if any object is in motion it can stop or if any object is in stationary position means if any object is not moving then it can make a stationary object moves so these are the different effect of force okay so now let's move on the next point हेलो वो भी एज यू कैन सी इन द पिक्चर सो सपोज यू हैव अ रबर बैट सपोज यू हैव अ रबर बैट ओके व्हेन यू विल स्ट्रेच देन व्हाट विल हैपन इट्स शेप विल चेंज इट्स शेप विल चेंज यस बट इफ यू विल स्टॉप स्ट्रेचिंग yes when you will stretch then it will elongate it will elongate so what is happening shape is changing um, but if you stop stretching then it will stop the rubber band will stop and it will come into its original position which is actually it will come into original position which is actually the circular yes so it is temporarily change it is temporarily change sponge you know sponge when you press the sponge when you press the sponge then what happens its shape changes yes when you will stop pressing the sponge when you stop applying the force when you stop pressing the sponge then what will happen it will come to its original position yes which is actually a rectangular position yes suppose you have a spring okay suppose you have a spring suppose you have a spring uh, then uh, if you press the spring if you press the spring if you squeeze press me squeeze if you squeeze the spring then its shape will become small but if you try to pull if you try to pull um, then its shape is change and if you stop pulling if you stop squeezing then it will get its original shape so these are temporary change 
but but what happens what happens if you pull the if you pull the spring more than its limit yes then what will happen if you are pulling more then it then what will happen if you pull more if you applying more force then a situation will come when you will leave pulling when you will leave pulling it will still not get its original shape it will remain in the shape after pulling the shape that will it will get so when you apply more force then it can get the permanent shape also okay it can get the permanent shape also okay mm. so these are the some changes so uh, let's talk about one misconception okay let's talk about a misconception that uh, uh, an object uh, when you apply the force suppose if you are applying the force on any object then it will never get its original shape again is it true or false if you apply force it will never get it we cannot return to its original shape inside after being squished or twisted or stretched okay it's wrong we can actually return to its original shape okay an object can be returned to its original shape and size even after being squeezed pressed to stage and stretched yes it's possible okay now let's move on the next point okay so let's see one more misconception so as you can see the misconception is a solid cannot be compressed or stretched a solid cannot be compressed or stretched. yes can solid not be compressed or stretched wrong yes a solid can be compressed and stretched but all but all the solids cannot be compressed yes some solids need more force solid can be compressed when you apply the force because of force uh, the shape of solid can change temporarily or permanently okay uh, but um, maybe possible maybe possible that some solid are very strong and some solid are not strong yes so it's depend upon their particles because some solids particle are very far away some solids particle are near for example sponge what is sponge sponge is a solid yes but still you can easily if you apply uh, the force you can compress it yes you can stretch it yes so solid can be compressed yes the shape of a solid object the shape of the solid object changes when a force is applied to it yes the shape of a solid object changes when a force is applied to it whether it's temporarily or permanently yes the shape of solid can be compressed stretch whether you apply force um, the shape can change temporarily also um, or permanent also okay example crushing a can if you crush a can what will happen the shape of the can will change permanently yes the shape of the can will change permanently yes it will not return to its original position okay so these are uh, the point even spring what is spring spring is a solid spring is a solid solid but still you can compress it yes stone can you compress it no but uh, when you apply the force it can break it so we can say that um, you can compress stretch she shape then shape can be changed okay i hope uh, you understood now let's move on the next point okay let's try to remove one more misconception the misconception is as you can see on the screen a force 
a force is needed to keep a, an object moving with a constant speed is really force needed to keep a object moving with constant speed no force is not needed always to keep an object moving with a constant speed yes you do not need forces to move to move a steady speed at a steady speed yes you do not need a force to move at a constant speed yes but if you keep the same speed if you want to keep the uh, same speed with changing direction like a moon around a planet then you have a force acting on you anyway yes okay so a force uh, is needed to keep an object moving with a constant it's wrong okay it's uh, wrong okay uh, and uh, for your kind information let me tell you guys okay, so whenever we apply a force on any object whenever we apply a force on any object then the object always move in the same direction is the applied force yes remember this is a fact uh, an object move move faster when a force is applied but it moves in the same direction is the applied force yes and as you can see in the picture some girls are playing is yes, some players are playing when the um, players will kick the ball the ball will go in the same direction in which direction you are applying the force using your feet okay and so if you will apply the force the ball will if the ball is moving slowly if the ball is moving slowly then ball may will move faster yes but uh, you don't need uh, more force apply to keep the object moving constant speed is yes. you know the how is moon moving around uh, the earth uh, it is moving with a constant speed yes you do you need a force extra force no you no need so a force is not needed to keep an object moving with a constant speed okay and remember a force um, in, because of force uh, the object move in the same direction as the applied force okay i hope uh, you understood okay and uh, kids uh, what is the unit of force newton yes newton is the unit of force i hope uh, you understood now let's move on the next point okay kids now let's study a new topic that is pressure so what is pressure yes what is pressure so pressure is a force what is pressure pressure is actually a force this is that is that is acting on a unit area of a surface that is acting on a unit area of a surface so the formula of pressure is pressure is equal to thrust upon area thrust or you can write in the place of thrust force okay the formula of pressure is thrust upon area or you can say force upon area okay so mm, the if mm, the effect of force on a loose end is larger while is standing than while lying down so remember kids uh, when you apply the force yes actually when you uh, apply the force means you are pushing or pulling yes because of it pressure also apply what is the unit of pressure uh, the unit of pressure is uh, we can easily find the unit of pressure is pascal yes the unit of pressure is pascal yes remember pa unit of pressure is denoted by pa okay so pressure is a force uh, acting uh, on a unit area of a surface yes Uh, so it's depend on that uh, how on how much surface it is acting yes depend on how much surface it is acting okay so because of pressure because of pressure many things work yes many things work uh, like um, when you apply the pressure on a bottle then the bottle will shrink yes when you apply the pressure then the bottle will definitely shrink so 
प्रेशर इज एक्चुअली द फोर्स एक्टिंग ऑन ए यूनिट एरिया ऑन ए फिक्स एरिया ऑफ ए सर्फेस ओके यू नो दैट लिक्विड एंड गैस लिक्विड एंड गैस आल्सो अप्लाई प्रेशर यस दे आल्सो अप्लाई प्रेशर ऑन द वॉल ऑफ द वेसल यस यस सपोज इन द पाइप इन द पाइप सपोज यू आर वाटरिंग द फ्लावर्स यू आर वाटरिंग द फ्लावर्स यूजिंग द पाइप एज यू विल स्विच ऑन द मशीन एज यू विल स्टार्ट द मोटर द ड्यू टू प्रेशर द वॉटर विल कम थ्रू द पाइप यस इफ यू ब्लॉक द पाइप इफ यू ब्लॉक द पाइप देन वॉट विल हैपन बिकॉज वॉटर अप्लाई द प्रेशर सो इट विल अप्लाई प्रेशर ऑन ईच ईच डायरेक्शन एवरी डायरेक्शन एट द बेस सो द पाइप विल बस्ट आउट द पाइप विल बस्ट आउट ओके सो I can say that liquid and gases also apply the pressure. Okay, now I can say let's try to understand uh, the relation between force and pressure. Let's move on the next point. ओके रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन फोर्स एंड प्रेशर यस व्हाट इज द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन फोर्स एंड प्रेशर सो एज यू कैन सी द पिक्चर ऑफ अ बाईसाइकल एंड बाईसाइकल पंप यस यू माइट हैव यूज्ड इट व्हेन यू पंप थ्रू द दिस पंप व्हेन यू व्हेन वी पंप थ्रू बाईसाइकल पंप देन द एयर इज फील्ड इन द एयर इज फील्ड इन द टायर ट्यूब यस द ट्यूब द एयर विल फील यस ए फोर्स इज अप्लाइड टू द पम्प to produce air pressure means when you are applying the force means you are when you are pulling then pushing pulling then pushing pulling pushing pulling pushing so because of it if it is producing a air pressure yes so the air pressure due to this pressure air is flowing through the pipeline and it is reaching into the tube yes so what is the relationship if you are applying more pull and pump pull or push yes if you are pumping the bicycle pump if you are pumping the bicycle pump means if you are pushing more if you are pushing more then the more air will go in tube why because the formula of pressure is pressure is equal to force upon area the formula of pressure is प्रेशर इज इक्वल टू फोर्स अपॉन एरिया और यू कैन से थ्रस्ट अपॉन एरिया ओके सो प्रेशर इज एक्चुअली डायरेक्टली प्रोपोर्शनल टू द थ्रस्ट और फोर्स येस प्रेशर इज एक्चुअली डायरेक्टली प्रोपोर्शनल टू द फोर्स येस इट मीन्स वॉट इट मीन्स वॉट वेन यू अप्लाई मोर फोर्स प्रेशर विल बी अप्लाइड मोर ओके वेन यू अप्लाई मोर फोर्स प्रेशर विल बी अप्लाइड मोर येस द मोर द फोर्स द मोर विल बी प्रेशर द मोर द थ्रस्ट द मोर विल बी प्रेशर सो रिमेंबर दिस kids what is the relation between force and pressure what is the relation between force and pressure what is the relation between force and pressure force is pressure is pressure is directly proportional to the force yes pressure is directly proportional to the force what is the spelling of proportional p r o p o r t i o n a l p r o p o r t i o n a l yes so pressure is directly proportional to the force so when the more is the force then more will be pressure okay and okay um, and pressure is inversely proportional to area pressure is inversely proportional to the area when the area will increase pressure decrease and when the pressure increase area will decrease yes if you are applying uh, uh, if suppose you have more area and in more area if you are applying the pressure then the pressure will be less okay if you have less area then the pressure will automatically increase so pressure is inversely proportional to the area on which it is applied yes it means what if there is lesser area then more for pressure if there is more area then lesser pressure okay for example camel camel can walk easily in the desert yes camel can walk easily in the desert as compared to the other animal yes 
because they have broader field yes because which uh, exert less pressure yes they have broader feet so which exert less pressure on the sandy ground which enable them to walk easily yes so they need to apply less pressure yes why because when the area increase then less pressure pressure will be less when the area increase then pressure will be less so when the because they have broader uh, area of the feet so they need to apply less pressure so they can easily walk yes but the other animals have feet are not broader like goat sheep so their area is decreased so they need to apply the pressure will be applied more but before when the pressure will applied force then for when the pressure will be applied more then force will increase when the force will increase their feet will go into the sand the same thing happen with us when we walk on the uh, sand our we we feel difficult to walk because uh, our feet are not too broader so when we walk pressure increase when the pressure increase force also increase and because of it our for because of it our feet will go into the deep into the sand okay so camel can walk easily in the desert as compared to the other animals because they have broader feet which exert less pressure on the sandy ground enable them walk properly yes and uh, heavy trucks heavy trucks have 6 to 8 tire yes instead of conventionally four in order to increase the area of contact between the tire and the road yes why heavy trucks have more tires they have more tires and uh, because to increase the area yes when the area will increase pressure will less so uh, thus the pressure on the ground is reduced so because of it pressure on the ground will reduce and it will easily um, the driver can easily drive the heavy truck that's why heavy trucks have 6 to 8 tire instead of the conventionally four in order to increase the area yes to increase the area of the contact between the tires and road yes to increase the area of contact between tires and road because of it the pressure on the ground is reduced okay so remember to point point number 1 pressure is directly proportional to the force means when the more is the force then more then uh, more will be pressure and pressure is inversely proportional to area on which the force is applied a pressure is inversely proportional to the area on which the force is applied means lesser the area of contact more is the pressure i hope you understood now let's move on the next point okay it's so now the topic is type of force yes so there are different type of force yes uh, contact force non contact force yes there are mainly there are two type of force mainly there are two type of force contact force and non contact force okay mainly there are two type of force contact force and non contact force contact force can be divided into two category contact force can be divided into two category muscular force and friction yes muscular force and friction and uh, non contact force can be divided into three category magnetic force electrostatic force gravitational force okay magnetic force uh, electrostatic force gravitational force okay so these are the types of force okay so remember the type they mainly there are two type of force contact force and non contact force contact force can be categorized into two category muscular force and friction force is muscular force and friction force and non contact force are magnetic force electrostatic force gravitational force okay so in i hope you understood the name in next class we will study about all these in detail okay now it's time to ask question from you let's move on the last point okay it's it's time to ask question from you question number 1 write the name of different types of forces yes, write the name of different type of forces yes. 
so there are different type of force yes mainly there are two type of force contact force and non contact force and uh, contact force can be divided into two part there are two type of contact force muscular force and friction force okay and uh, non contact force can be divided into three category okay uh, magnetic force electrostatic force gravitational force okay magnetic force uh, electrostatic force and gravitational force okay question number 2 question number 2 is what is pressure write its formula and unit yes what is pressure uh, pressure is the force acting on unit area of a surface yes pressure is the force which is applied on a uh unit area of a surface so what is the formula of pressure what is the formula of the pressure the formula of the pressure is the uh, thrust upon area or you can say force upon area okay what is the unit of pressure unit of pressure is pascal okay unit of pressure is pascal question number 3 what is the relationship between force and pressure yes what is the relationship between force and pressure so Uh, the relationship is uh, pressure is directly proportional to the force yes pressure is directly proportional to the force when the force is more then pressure will be also more yes you know when you feel the air in the mm, bicycle tube then you push the bicycle pump you push and pull so what are you doing you are applying the force if you apply more force then you are generating more pressure yes so because of more pressure more air will go into the tube and it will feel the tube very fast okay remember that pressure is directly proportional to the force and pressure is inversely proportional to the area on which the force is applied yes pressure is inversely proportional to the area so when the um, pressure uh, is more then area will be less yes i hope you understood that's why the camel are able to walk easily in the desert now we will meet in next class we will study about the different type of force till then bye bye